All right, Aqua gang, you already know what time it is. Me, your girl, and Pris 777 here today with your almost daily love reading. Holy angels and spirit guys, give me clear, concise messages for my Aquarius soul family, my Aqua gang, gang, gang. It's going to be for sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, y'all. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. I certainly am. Go ahead and take a second and click that like button for your girl. You know what I'm saying? Let us support the channel, okay? Go ahead and click that subscribe button as well. I do upload for your sign quite often, especially if you're new to the channel. Take a look around, okay? You don't want to miss out. Also, click the notification bell. All right, guys, we are ready to jump right in. I'm not wasting no time. All of the semantics, let's just get to it, okay? Let's skip all the small talk. I'm going to start out with the Breakup Oracle deck. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be in separation with your person, but this uh, deck gives some really poignant messages in reference to what this person's thought processes may be at this time. So let's see what we have here. Ooh, fighting it. <laughs> yeah. So the harder I try to resist you, the weaker I seem to be. So listen, guys, this could definitely involve somebody who it was like a push and pull is what I'm feeling right hot and cold in and out very inconsistent energy um something that you felt like you probably couldn't do anything with any longer right you no longer could tolerate it you may have tried to for a little while um but you just felt like you were selling yourself short right continuously dealing with someone if, if you haven't decided that you want me then why, what are we doing here you know what the fuck is we doing right like what are we doing um you're certainly not in the business of trying to get somebody to pick you but now you have somebody who is finally saying well now i choose you right like too little too late though is that what i heard too little too late uh it says i'm sorry for taking so long to realize it's always been you definitely push and pull here guys if this is your story it's your story right um it's general so it can't resonate for every aquarium in the entire world but as a collective we often go through the same bullshit i'm just saying i don't know why it's like that it's fucked up it's fucked up but that's just that that's how it is sometimes right same person different faces but but typically the same characters we we all tend to be dealing with those at the same time so in any case like i stated i i get a very hot and cold type of energy guys okay when it was on that shit was fucking on it was up right like you couldn't understand why why it was you could have such a great time with this person a great conversation a, a great date you know some bomb ass sex whatever it was right and then in the next minute it's like they were completely turned off right like they they, they were no longer there you know um this person always seemed a little bit out of reach to you um definitely breadcrumbs here i mean the whole fucking bakery bakery full of bread i mean they had pumpernickel they had a little bit of uh focaccia you know a little bit of wheat bread like they was just and and they weren't given the entire loaf this is somebody who would breadcrumb you every now and again this is somebody who was doing that because they still needed to decide what they were going to do so i definitely get third party energy guys i just have to be very honest with that you know if this is your story or not this is somebody who always left it up in the air they always had you second guessing and believe it or not guys you're definitely someone who's out of their league okay can we just can we just keep it real for a second can we talk can we talk for a minute um definitely out of their league okay point blank in the period period there's no buts or nothing after that period However, this is a person who possibly didn't believe that they would be able to live up to your expectations, who who they didn't believe that they would be able to hold on to you. Right. So what people do is they sabotage shit before it even can pop off. This is something that never got off the ground quite. It never could quite get off the ground. It always stopped and start, stopped and start. Um, whiplash is what I heard. You know what I'm saying? It would start and be so heavy and um all good to go it's like you were getting your hopes up you always you feel like this person was just um pulling your strings okay um they were trying to decide whether or not they were going to choose you fully because this person is not confident or or secure in what they can bring to a relationship guys okay this is why they fought it however um this fight it card that came out definitely gives me twin flame vibes i just have to be very honest only you know if you're dealing with your twin flame or not it doesn't necessarily have to be it could be a karmic soulmate but I do feel like there was a lot of chemistry here. Lots of potential. This shit could have went all the way, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? But this is somebody who really fucked with it only because they were not confident in themselves. They were not confident that they would be able to get this done, that they would be able to solidify it. I feel like this person was almost surprised that you gave them a shot. <laughs> Let's be very honest. They were surprised that you even gave them a conversation. Um, maybe they never really dealt with someone like you before. That's not too out of reach, right? But the fact that you gave them a shot, they they were it was almost like they were thinking in their mind, OK, 
if I go forward with this, I'm going to end up losing Aqua anyway. So let me just, you know, fuck it up now. You know, let me just fuck this shit up now so that we don't, so I don't have to do that. Let me break your heart before you break mine. Wow. That's what I just heard, guys. Okay. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Ooh, secret love. That, right? See? Oh my gosh. This person doesn't entirely know what love is, though, guys. I feel it, right? You're like, duh. Um, I feel like this person kept their feelings a secret from you. OK, if not love, true infatuation, whatever you want to call it. Right. They may not have been in love, but there are feelings of um, there are loving feelings there deep down within. This is somebody who feels like emotions is a weakness. They don't express those. You understand um, you're my friend right until the end, that type of shit. But they want all the benefits of being your girlfriend, of being your boyfriend. Do you understand the disconnect there? It makes absolutely no sense. So um, you're not tripping is what I heard. It says I kept. Um, I've kept my love for a secret. I've kept my love for you a secret. It's too complicated to explain. I think it's complicated in this person's own mind because they could have possibly never been in love before, guys. I just have to be very honest with that. Um, this is somebody who's always played the feel. This is somebody who's always been very protected and guarded of their own energy, of their own heart, of their own love. Um, out of fear of rejection, ultimate rejection, even if you were choosing this person straight to their face, they still felt unstable, right? We have house in the reverse. That's about stability. That's about security. You could have said a million times what you were going to do for this person, how things were going to be, who you are, right? They just didn't believe you. They didn't believe who you were. Does that make sense? Um, you would have been a really good look for this person. I'm just saying. You would have been a great look. Um, they just couldn't... They. They could not accept it, though. Do you understand? They were blinded um, to what was right before them. Um, ultimately, they were subconsciously sub sabotaging it, okay? Um, not that you give a fuck. I'm just saying what is coming out in these cards, guys. Y'all know? I'm saying these cards don't lie. Um, main female in the reverse. Gender doesn't matter, but this is somebody who tried to kind of keep you on a roster. That's what I heard, guys, okay? A whole line of fucking people. They just don't know that you had a roster of your own. I mean, you could. It's not like you could not do that yourself. You was trying to give this person a chance. Wow. This is someone who felt like if they told you their true feelings, they would lose control, right? So just sabotage it, right? Instead, that makes more sense, doesn't it, dummy? Hmm? 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 Stupid ass. Does that make more sense? Wow. You're going to be fighting with yourself, okay? Aqua is not even there anymore. Like, are you kidding me? Um... It's almost unbelievable that they would do something like this. And now they're saying, you know, they're sorry that it took so long for them to find. So this could be somebody coming in to try and communicate things with you. But they've already rocked the foundation. They've already crossed a boundary and they've already possibly broken the trust for some of you. Right. And once that's broken, I mean, it's null and void. There's no more conversation. There's no further conversation needed. You know, I mean, you just go your way and I'm going to go my way. Some of you may have already started seeing other people. Um, I'm ready to be truthful. You see, you see, you see, you see, do you see the bullshit? I don't like this guys. It's not toxic, but it is a game. You know what I'm saying? It is, it's this person played themselves. Um, yeah, they, they're wanting you to give them a, a go, right? A green light to, to go ahead and contact you, to go ahead and have this conversation with you. This may be somebody who comes in with, with breadcrumbs still, guy. I have, guys, I have to be very honest with that, okay? They better be very careful. Um, they've already given you the whole fucking bakery, you know what I'm saying? You threw that shit back. And now here they come, but it's almost like they're going to try to dip their toe to, you know, check your temperature. See where you are with things. They know that they have broken this. They know that they have, shake, they have shaken the foundation, possibly even broken in the foundation there's nothing there's no longer um a open door for them okay wow you may have shut all avenues for this person to contact you yep it, you you viewed this as a huge red banner no longer red flags at play um that one red flag guys was there let's be very clear and honest okay you gave this person way too many chances i'm just saying don't be me that's the fuck they say okay too many chances um to choose you um, you have learned your lesson, though, in that. You have. You have. You know your worth. You do. Um, this person wasn't entirely the worst the whole time. Lots of confusion, though. And that's where the red flags are. It was just too much confusion. Yeah, spiraling out of control. So now this person is possibly spiraling out of control because of the ending. Okay, I don't know what you did. I don't know what you said. I don't know what was in that conversation between the two of you. Um... 
this person feels like they're at a crossroads, like they have no other choice but to come clean. But like I said, too little too late is what I heard. And more importantly, you're in a position now where you don't want to have to force somebody. It, you don't want it to be an ultimatum. You just want it to authentically happen. You want it to be something organic that comes from someone. And, and it, just, it didn't happen in this relationship. Let's just be very clear, okay? So this is the type of person who held on to all of their feelings. You may have even expressed yourself to this person hoping that they would reciprocate and it just never came. Um, all you got was confusion, back and forth, hot and cold, in and out, very inconsistent energy. Um, Something about them did it for you. That's the only reason why they lasted so long. But now, I mean, you're you're more focused on your own happiness, right? Paradise. You may be in a very happy place. For some of you, this has ended quite some time ago. Is that focusing, guys? Um, it says paradise. So we have happiness, expansion, joy. Um, oneness, right? And so that's the word that's sticking out most in your position. I feel like you're becoming one with yourself. I'm um, focusing fully on yourself. You really don't have time for the bullshit. Okay, let's just be very clear. You don't have time to entertain someone who cannot see your worth. I mean, it's just a waste of your time at this point is what you're saying, is what you're thinking. This is someone who wants to express it now though, guys, okay? I know they waited a long time. They did, they were fighting that shit. Tooth and nail, they were fighting it, okay? I had one fall on the floor. They told me that's not for you, okay? Let's see here. Abundance, yeah. So I feel like this is the cycle that you're going into, guys. Paradise and abundance. You got some good shit coming in. Um, that is the focus. Money, growth, expansion. Um, it's trying to stay optimistic about the future. Um, it's that energy of believing that your best days are ahead of you, not behind you. Um, you've been through a lot, right? So you're trying to have gratitude for where you are now, especially those of you who have fully healed from things in the past. This person, they really messed with your mind, guys. It, it was like a mind fuck, right? Like, um the things that they were doing because you just couldn't understand why it was all good one minute and then the very next second the very next second you were dealing with another person you feel like you were dealing with Jekyll and Hyde okay too much duality in this person um and you would just much a, a peace of mind you would just much rather be alone you would just much rather um have your peace of mind rather than focus on someone who can't be clear with you okay influencer right you feel like this is the type you feel like this is a person who is just looking for attention you feel like this is the a person who just came towards you for attention um maybe to see what it is that they can get out of this i don't get that idea I just have to be very clear and honest with that i don't feel like this is a person who um seeked out attention purposefully but that's definitely the way that it came off because of their behavior the way that they was moving you know what i'm saying definite red flags right i'm validating everything that you were feeling they were moving incorrectly um <laughs> See, you have the green light. That's what this card says. Yes, this person wants like... <sighs> I hear one of two things. They either are waiting for you to reach out to them. Huh. You're going to wait forever. I'm just saying you're going to be waiting forever, motherfucker. Okay? All right. Or when they contact you, like I said, you know, here's a bowl of focaccia, you know, here, here, here's a piece of pumpernickel, you know, here, here's some, here's some wheat, here's some white they're gonna put a little bit of, of the crumbs there to see if you bite and that will be an incentive um that they can go forward right come forward with these feelings with the, they will not do that if you turn them away if you bruise their ego if you ignore them if you any of the above right um they're gonna wait to check your temperature before they actually express these feelings guys okay so we do have a bit of a coward here i'm just saying i'm just saying because they made you wait so fucking long so what what does it matter ma'am sir brasset Blake, Stoey, why does that matter? You waited all this time already. You had the green light this whole entire time. So now that the light is red, you want to wait for it to be green again. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, yeah, so this person is kind of feeling like it's it's hard. You're hard to get now, right? Like you're playing hard to get. I don't think Aqua's playing. Okay, I feel like you crossed a line. Um, they're still going to try, but they're not going to come in fully with these confessions right off the bat. I'm just going to be really clear with that, okay? Um, so, how do they currently view you? Three of Cups. So, they do view you as um, 
like you guys were friends right it's like you built a friendship um this could have been someone who friend zoned you or who just wanted to keep things as friends because i do remember saying previously um this is my friend right like forever and ever and ever but i still want to fuck you but i still want to take you out but i still want you know what i'm saying i still want all the benefits of being like your partner but you're my friend right like this is how this person has viewed you the entire time that i don't like okay they may come in though um with more of a olive branch as a friend before they come forth with these feelings of love it's secret it's a secret guys okay they've been secretly holding on to these feelings um i don't think that you give a fuck but i'm just saying that's what ha that's what's happening okay their truest feelings about this connection is that you are their wish fulfillment that doesn't come as a surprise to me okay um what did i say you're out of their league guys okay i don't feel like this person was bottom of the barrel but i definitely feel like in their eyes you were something way more than they ever expected to, to catch they never expected to bag you and the fact that they were able to even get a conversation out of you let alone you wanting a relationship they just didn't feel like they would be able to live up to the expectations of the star this is your card guys they view you exactly as who you are so you definitely weren't putting on you put all your cards on the table you were definitely very um vulnerable transparent with this person and they were playing games in your eyes okay um this person is trying to stay hopeful i'm gonna, I'm gonna be very honest with that but like i said a st how many of you have touched a star before please raise your hands have you ever touched a star no like they feel like this is something so out of reach um it's definitely why they were moving that way guys i'll be very clear okay um how would they handle this if they could go back well they would move a lot fucking faster than they actually did they would actually act on it i feel like this person is um either one end of the spectrum or the other there's no uh middle ground with this kind of person um they were moving slow as fuck before okay a ferris wheel um a snail a turtle you know what i'm saying moving extremely slow paced um if they could go back that's what this position is. They would be hasty. They wouldn't even think about it, right? They would do and then think later. Do and then apologize later. Do and then worry about the consequences later. That's what the Knight of Swords is. Um, this is how they would handle it if they could go back because they definitely feel like this is a missed opportunity now, right? They feel like they sat on this. You were offering them this stable relationship, stability, with your wish fulfillment, with a fucking star, okay? With a star and they drop the ball completely they completely drop the ball oh yeah they feel like you're their um their soulmate okay very twin flame guys i gotta say right in the twin flame relationships you always have a runner there's a runner and a chaser right typically typically um the chaser is not necessarily somebody who is knocking beating your door down but it is the more awakened twin and it is the one who um it's trying to move things along. It's trying to be um, about forward movement and expansion and growth and union, right? Being together um, and doing what they need to do to make that happen. Whereas the unawakened twin, you are just too bright for them. You're too bright. You're burning their fucking eyes. Have you ever looked at the sun head on? How long can you do that? You know what I'm saying? Now you can look at a star, but can you touch it? No. So this is a person who's insecurity's got the best of them guys i'm just be very honest with you okay do they love you it's deep down in there they can't really face it they can't really it's like looking at the sun you brought some real you brought some real beauty to their soul guys you did something for them light fluffy light-hearted and this is why you feel like this person was just coming towards you for attention because they would come and suck you dry and then the next second you don't exist you know what i'm saying you can't get no love back right um Friendship is in this card as well, guys. But I feel like that's mirrored. You know what I'm saying? You guys did build a true... Well, you tried to build a, tr a foundation with this person. They just would not allow for it to go further than a certain point. It was always stopping. For some of you, it never even got off the ground. This person would run in the opposite direction. As soon as they would look at you for too long, you're too fucking bright. You're too fucking far out of reach. They could not do that, right? Their insecurities would start to beat them up. Lots of negative self-talk I'm hearing, guys. 
this, okay? So it's really sad, actually. I'm just gonna say it, I'm just gonna say it, okay? Now look, we're going over to the extended, okay? I do wanna see what were their intentions all along then. You know what I'm saying? What were their true intentions with you all along? I wanna know how they uh, feel you will approach this moving forward. And based on what they feel you will do, I wanna know what their next steps are gonna be and their intentions for those next steps. We'll also look at the potential outcome if you decide to stay or go. Um, and then we're gonna get into your own messages. I wanna know what's next for you in your next cycle overall, right? In life finances, only the good stuff. I'm feeling intuitively to only look at the good stuff in, in, that, in that case, okay? What's next for you? And then we're gonna see what blockages or shadows spirit may still be trying to release you from that will open the floodgates to success for you, all right? Um, and then we'll see what your focus needs to be to keep all negativity as far away as possible so that you can keep yourself vibrating at the highest frequency possible, right? That's that law of attraction. The higher you are vibrating, the, you're only attracting what you are vibrating at, right? The level you are vibrating at is exactly what you attract. So we're going to see what you need to focus on to keep you at the highest positivity. Do you understand? All right. So come on over with me to the extended. First, click that like button though. Okay. All right. Click that subscribe button. All right. Become a part of the family. And let's go cut up a little bit. Um, I'm going to dig into this, guys. Okay. It's going to be linked down below in the description box. I'll see you over there.